this is Trace FM first with the haze. How you doing? It's Easy Mondays. Now listen, I warned you that I have a fire interview coming up from a multi-talented South African artist. And me saying artist is like, you know, kind of minimizing how impactful her work is. I want to introduce you to Tandy Dry. How are you doing? Oh my gosh. Welcome. Uh, I- First of all, thank you so much for this dope invite. Yeah. I just, I don't want to go home yet. <laughs> you don't, you don't want to go? I'm moving to, to, I am moving to Kenya. Is, is this your first time in Kenya? Yes. Oh, how has it been so far? All I can say, it's not going to be my last time. It's yeah. been amazing. You guys are so warm. Mm. You love music. So right. welcoming and so supportive of, you know, the ah. Afrotech sound. So, L- let yeah. me let, let me tell you something. <laughs> let me steal a secret for you, all right? Don't Ooh. tell nobody. Okay. A f- Kenyan men are the most faithful men in Africa. Let <laughs> no one... Like, just take that home. Okay. Do, don't tell all the South African ladies because they're going to come, you know, st- storming into Kenya. I right. think I should bring them over to Kenya. Yeah. Actually, no, I've actually I had a conversation yeah. and I was told that there are more women in Kenya than ben. men. Ah, okay. So okay. if I bring all the South African hands, it's going to be like 10... Ten women to one man. Yeah, and the best part is we are the most faithful. So anyway, <laughs> <laughs> um, welcome. Uh, you had an amazing perf- performance at the rally. Yes. Uh, you are here for a performance. And I saw a friend of mine who posted and was like, when you were performing, he was like, she's singing while DJing. Give us a bit about what you do as a whole. Okay, so um, hello, everyone. Once yeah. again, I'm Tandy Dry, yeah. all the way from South Africa. I am just crazy about music. I'm a music producer, I'm a DJ, I'm a vocalist. So yeah, yesterday I was out at Sunset Village Mm. um, yeah, to just go and do what I do best. And I guess I showcase what I do while I'm DJing. I pick up the mic and I sing. Mm. And yeah, I communicate with the crowd through everything, like anything musical that I can just do in that moment. Yeah. Yeah. And that's the flashy part of where you are right now. But you've not had the easiest background to where you are. I mean, growing up with foster parents, Yes. how has that influenced who you are today, the kind of music that you make, how you grind today? H- has that had any form of impact on that? Yes, well, I fell in love with music at a very, very young age. Yeah. And then coming, you know, from like a, a, a very uh, horrible background, you know, abusive or disadvantaged background, mm-hmm. one of the things that they used to use as therapy would be music or they would see, you know, what does a certain child adapt to. Right. And for me, it was music. So, um, yeah, music for me was very healing. And I guess that's when I first fell in love with music because I was just like, what is this feeling that has come over me when I listen to music? It just makes everything feel okay. Yeah. And I guess, yeah, growing up, I was just like, I really want to know how do you make this music? How can I make music that is going to, like, bless and touch people's souls? So, yeah, I guess that... That's how my story starts, and wow. that is what inspires me till today. I just want to make music, and people must be like, I'm so happy right now. I yeah. mean, what you've just said about music being used as therapy is such a powerful thing. I've never heard that, because I, I guess therapy for kids is different from adults, but for the first time, I've had music doing something so, you know, so powerful. Yeah, no, it's changed my life. I mean, mm. I'm, I'm in Kenya yeah. because of music. Right. I never thought, being that little girl in a home, that... Wow, I just knew one day I'm destined for mm. something amazing and great. I never thought that I'm actually like, it's still surreal. Even today when I'm on a flight, I'm like, what? I'm yeah. really flying to go and showcase music and, you know, do what I do best. In a different country. Mm. And you, speaking of that, South Africa is one of the few countries yes. that has been able to constantly export its sound outside South Africa into the world. I mean, there's, there's been different seasons. So back when I started DJing, we were talking about DJ Cleo, I yes. believe, uh, a lot of Mikasa back then. And then the sound keeps on revolving and coming, you know, coming up. What do you attribute that to? Why is South Africa always on top of the music game? Um, I think just like you're saying, everything evolves. Yeah. Um, and it's just about, you know, staying in that involve, you know, like you need to evolve with the times, you need to evolve with the music. And yeah. I feel like with South Africa, uh, we've been practicing, you know, for a few years and we just keep practicing and it just keeps getting better and better because we do at the end of the day want to take out that quality music, the best music right. we come from a very, very long way. So I think, yeah, when it comes to South Africa, we're very 
yeah, very, 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 very passionate about making sure that we take out the best of the best. It's it's a feeling for us. I right. Mean, we make a lot of we make living from it. So yeah. Mm-hmm. So now I want to ask you just about your latest project, right? Yes. Africa gets physical, and I'm assuming we are not fighting. Yeah. It's it's. <laughs> <laughs> what was the inspiration behind that name and every other you know every song that is in that project? Okay, so Africa Gets Physical is a series of compilations that comes out every year yeah. under a label in Germany called Get Physical. Mm. So, um, yeah, this year they were like, Tandy Dry, I've done a few releases with them, and they were like, Tandy Dry, we would like you to please, um, you know, do a compilation for us. You know, we've been working very well. Yeah. And I'm like, yeah, I'm, you know, I'm a good at selecting songs as a DJ, so I can definitely do this. And I felt that... It's called Africa Gets Physical. And I was like, I'm not going to be apologetic about who we are as Africans Mm -hmm. from our sound, our stories. So if you listen to my compilation, it is full of African stories. I I reached out to people in Kenya. I reached out to people in um, Nigeria. Really? Yeah. So I have, I mean, it is Africa Gets Physical. So I had to make sure that I source out some of the best Afrotech storytellers um, of the sound. And I watched, I watched, you did that live stream for that project yes. amazing visuals i must say thank you so much and like um after watching that visual what's the grander vision of what you're doing currently you know i think one of the very the hardest parts as an artist is to visualize something in your head yeah and then to see it through you know right. so when I saw that whole that whole mix come through and how we expressed the compilation, mm. it, it just shows me that you are capable of doing so much more. Right. You got this done. Look how amazing it is. Yeah. Look at the beautiful response. So yeah, you can dream bigger, go bigger, go better. So mm. yeah, it's very everything for me. I've, most times I feel like I'm dreaming. I'm like, right. what did we just do this now? You know. So I'm very excited to see what other challenges I can do for music and what other ways I can push my music. Right. So yeah. you, you, you talk about Afrotech. Yes. Is that a fusion of Afro House and uh, it's what, 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 what just explain Afrotech as a sound because currently mm-hmm. Amapiano Piano is the dominant sound outside of South Africa to the world. Yes. So tell us a bit more about Afrotech. Afro, okay. So as we've been talking about how music evolves, yeah. there was a time when we had a sound called Afro House. Yeah. Um, and uh, Ancestral, as you can hear with the names, it's we had a lot of like shakers and very like ancestral sounds in the music. Mm-hmm. So all we've done now is taken that sound and we've mixed it with like the more European uh, electronic dance right. music. You'll hear a lot of uh, electronic sounds in Afrotech, mm. but the groove is really driven by our African drums and shakers and yeah, ethnic sounds. Right. So that's basically Afrotech. Right, dope. Yes. Uh, we have a special mix oh, that you've yeah. done for us today. Can't <laughs> wait to listen to that. But to the people who will listen to this compilation, for the first time yes what do you want them to feel what do you want them to take away from that listen okay so like i said this africa gets physical it's our stories it's praise for our people mm. um so there's no ways you will not get something out of it it is very spiritual it is very intense um i just need you guys to feel it and heal you know and be happy because that's what uh, the compilation is. Al- we, we are praying, praying right. the whole time for better, you know, better tomorrows. Um, you know, there's different storylines, but trust me, there is a story for each and every African person, even if you're not African as well, yeah. for you to enjoy it. But it is truly our story, so you will get something out of it. That's powerful. Yeah. Uh, with your short stay in Kenya, yes. are we going to see some uh, collaborations between you and some of the, you know, DJs? who also produce here in Kenya. Yes, I actually have an artist on the compilation. Mm -hmm. Uh, His name is Saint Evil. He is from Kenya. Mm -hmm. So um, that's a start. I... uh, 
I'm, I did a lot of networking. I've been talking to a few other vocalists as well. I'm praying to get a feature with Ed Aziz as well. Ooh. Um, <laughs> yeah, so there that. is there's, there's a few. I met some at um, the um, event yesterday. Some up and coming artists, underground people that have never been heard of. And I was just like, okay, mm. let us make magic and let's keep telling the African story through our music. Oh, thank you yeah. so much for coming. Um, for those who want to, you know, get interactive with you since you're a DJ it's always good to let them know your handle yes. so that you know they can get to interact with you let us know where we can find you on the socials okay so on all social media platforms Instagram Twitter Facebook you name it mm. um, it's at Tandy Dry Tandy is T-H-A-N-D-I and then Dry is D-R-A-A-I right. one, one word trust me she's not dry with the vibe she has <laughs> great vibes as you head out to South Africa have an amazing journey send our love over there tell oh, them we man. love them so much thank you so much uh you guys enjoy the heat that you guys are about to hear so right Afro -tick. Bruh, i've just unapologetic been i've been just <laughs> chilling here just waiting to hear that fire <laughs> mix so we're about to go into that have a safe journey and thank anytime you. you're in kenya trace fm is oh home. man this is home thank you so much uh,